In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. All right, so here we've got a problem which uh, says uh, prove that 8 cos cube of pi by 9 minus 6 cos of pi by 9 equals 1. All right, so take this, you know, you can clearly see that in 8 and 6 there is 2. Okay, you can take out 2. Well, you can also take out cos pi by 9, but that's not the point. We will come to that, all right? So taking out 2, you get 4 cos cube pi by 9 minus 3 cos pi by 9. So does this ring a bell? Well, uh, can you relate this to something? Well, it does relate itself to cos 3a because cos 3a is nothing but, let me write the formula here, cos 3a is nothing but, 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. Can you see here? 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. That is what this is. All right. So you can write the whole thing as 2 times cos of 3 pi by 9. a is pi by 9. So 3a. Right. So here 3 and 3 get, 3 and 9 gets cancelled, so it'll become pi by 3. So it'll be 2 cos of pi by 3. So pi by 3 is nothing but 180 by 3, which is 60. So cos 60 is uh, 1 by 2. So that is 2 times 1 by 2, which is equal to 1 RHS. Alright, so we proved that this equals 1. A very, very basic problem, a very simple problem to you know help you get warmed up into these kind of problems. Let's quickly solve another problem, which is going to be, you know, really not as simple as this. All right, we've got a problem here, which reads like this. It says, prove that cos 6a equals 32 cos to the power 6a minus 48 cos to the power 4a plus 18 cos square a minus 1. Well, don't wonder like, oh man, what are we doing with cos 6a? You know, we just studied cos 3a. So well, what we're going to do here is, it's not straight away go to the cos 3a part, but first we're going to look into cos 2 theta part. So we're going to write 6a as cos 2 times of 3a. So that becomes cos 2 theta, right? So cos 2 theta is what? Let me write it here for you. Cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Well, it's got a lot of, you know, formulas, but the reason I'm taking cos because there are a lot of cos here, all right? So that's the basic thing. So it's going to be 2 cos square 3a minus 1. Now, why did I do this? Because I got cos 3a here, right? So now, 2 times, now what is cos 3a? Cos 3a is nothing but 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a. But it is cos squared 3a, right? So I square the whole thing. Then I have minus 1 here. So that becomes, first let's square this. So it is of the form a minus b the whole square, right? So it's going to be 16 cos to the power 6a plus 9 cos square a minus 2ab. So 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24, minus 24 cos cube a into cos a is cos to the power 4a minus 1. Now multiply the 2 inside. You're going to get 2 times uh, 16 is 32 cos to the power 6a. Well, we've got 1 already. And then plus 18 cos square a. Well, we've got that as well. Then we've got minus 48 cos to the power 4a and minus 1. All we have to do is just rewrite this in that order. So it'll be 32 cos to the power 6a minus 48 cos to the power 4a and plus 18 cos square a and minus 1, which is RHS. All right. So we started off with cos 6a. We wrote that like this. And then we went here cos 2 theta, right? This one. And then, you know what we did? We got a cos 3a and then that is where we used this formula. And all we had to do was simple maths from there on. So only the first two steps, you really had to like think, you know, what you have to do and all those things. But once you got there, it was simple math. All right, so that ends this problem as well as the video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Thank you.